Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a minting app really quickly, really easily using the Bubble no-code platform and the Web3 and MetaMask plugin. So to just give you a preview here of what we're building, this is an example of a minting application for the Real Fake Doors NFT project. You can see here, you can select how many uh, NFTs you want to mint, and then you just simply click on buy and it will open your MetaMask to approve the transaction. So that's an example of basically what we're trying to do. We want people to interact with our contract via the minting functionality, and we want people to mint a certain amount of our NFTs in exchange for, in this case, Ethereum. Like I said, we're gonna use the Bubble no-code platform and the Web3 and MetaMask plugin. This plugin is $6 a month or $50 outright to use with your application. It is well worth that cost for the ease of use and the a huge list of features that you get with this plugin. It's, it's well worth the price. For this example, we're also going to need an ABI code from the contract that we want to interact with. In my case, I'm using a contract that I wrote and deployed, so I'm gonna copy the ABI code from the Remix editor just right here under the compiler tab. So I copy and pasted that ABI code, and now I'm going to go into Bubble. So here's actually the finished version of what we're gonna be building. You can see here, I've got the little plus and minus symbol to select how many of the NFTs we're gonna mint. And then you click the mint button and it will open up the MetaMask wallet to sign the transaction. There we go, looks just like the uh, other one. So if we go into the back end here, we can see the different elements under the design tab that we have to make this page work. We've got a group called quantity that has the plus and minus icons along with a text uh, element here that just has a custom state called number. You can see here under this eye, we've given this a custom state called number. That type is the number. The default value is one. So what that means is that when someone first loads this app, it's going to show one as the default quantity. What you'll see here when we go to the workflow in a little bit is how we've got these um, uh, icons set up to increase and decrease the number on this, the number state of this text element to increase and decrease the quantity. Then we've got a simple button here. When you click this button, this is gonna start our minting uh, functionality. This is gonna start our writing to the contract functionality when we click it. And arguably the most important thing on this page is this invisible element right here called the Web3 and MetaMask element. This can be found in the sidebar after, of course, you have installed the Web3 and MetaMask plugin. You have to have this plugin installed in the back end here. You gotta go to the plugins. You gotta type in MetaMask. Now let's go to the workflow tab where the real magic happens. So first, we're gonna look at the icons, the minus and plus icons. Okay, so under the minus icon, you can see here, we want this minus icon when it is clicked, only when the quantity, uh, the number, I mean, of the mint quantity text element, so the number, which is that custom state, is greater than one, we want the icon minus to, to do its thing, which is to decrease the mint quantities number state by one. So we're gonna do a set state here, mint quantities number minus one, but only when that number is above one because we don't want the quantity to be less than one. So that's why we have this only when here. For icon plus, it's just the exact opposite. So we're only when the mint quantities custom state number is below 10 because we want to only allow people to mint up to NF up to 10 NFTs at a time. So we've just set that number here. You can set whatever number you want or have no upper limit. So as long as the mint quantity is below 10, you can then in keep increasing by one when you click that plus icon. Now, when you click the mint button, 
you are going to have this smart contract write function is what you're going to use. And this is a function that comes along with that MetaMask and Web3 plugin. For contract address, we've put in the contract address of the Real Fake Doors project, which we showed you at the beginning here. Then I'm pasting that ABI code that I copied earlier from Remix. Okay, we're gonna paste that ABI code in here. Then we're gonna call the action mint. Then we're gonna put in the mint quantity text elements number, that custom state, that's our parameter. That's gonna tell our mint function how many we want to mint. And then our transaction value has to be filled in. This is the quantity that we're gonna mint, right? Times the cost per mint that you wanna charge people to mint your NFTs. This is the cost here uh, in way. You have to use the way amount. You can't just put that you want, in our case, 0 0.02 ether you have to put it in way, which is this number here. You can go to eth-converter.com. There's a bunch of these tools to convert to way, but you need the way amount for this to work. So you have to put in the workflow in the back here, the way amount. So you're doing the mint quantity number times the way amount. This is just basic math. That's the transaction value. And then we are going to put in a gas limit here to make sure the people buying our NFTs aren't overpaying for gas, we're gonna put in a gas limit here of 280,000. Whatever number you wanna put here, you can put here. But this is a pretty standard number. So that's it, that's, that's all there is to this. Now, when you go to this app, you kinda know what's going on here. We're, we can increase our quantity up to 10, we can decrease our quantity down to one, and then whatever quantity we have here is going to be multiplied by our cost to mint that we have set. We're gonna click mint. It's gonna do that way number times three. And then it's gonna also have our gas limit built into it here too. And it's gonna ask us to sign this transaction. You can see it right here. So that's it. That's the quick and easy way to make a minting page for your project in no time. You, you could do this easily within an hour if you really, if you just follow this video along. I know this was pretty quick and we didn't go from step one to build out the whole page. I just kind of already built it and then showed you guys how it works. I'm kind of pushing you directly into the deep end of the pool and I know that, but I think you are totally capable of grasping how to do this. So with that said, leave your feedback, your complaints and your questions in the comments below. I'm sure you will. And until next time, peace.